there's that weird thing that, uh, you know, you do bear a kind of a, a quite a striking resemblance to him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> which, which must Not be... right now. Yeah. But that must be quite a freaky thing. I kind of look at a, pictures of this guy and kind of go... I was able to do a lot of research, um, and the director of our movie, Joe Berlinger, brought out so much information, because he was also simultaneously yeah, making the yeah. documentary. So I had loads of... Uh, I, I, I could spend three... I, three weeks watching material on Ted Bundy. Yeah, yeah. Um, but after a while, I learned that some of... I, I could pick up the basic things like mannerisms, um, certain tics and things like that, but I didn't want to make... Uh, you tread a, a fine line between uh, doing an impersonation and, and a good one that just becomes an impersonation yeah. and making a three-dimensional character that your audience can associate with. So... Um, Look, we, I guess it is that challenge, isn't it, of playing playing a real person and doing the uh, like a, a transformation rather than an impersonation. And uh, we must mention Monster, where you, you did such an extraordinary job of that. Thank you. But it was such a that's so dramatic that that transformation. It literally is just me on a Tuesday morning. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Charlie's <Zyman. laughs> That picture. <laughs> No, but I, I hear what you're saying. You don't you don't ever want to feel like you're just doing that one dimensional thing. And yeah, um, I definitely like I didn't want to do prosthetics. I gained a lot of weight for it, but I did I did no prosthetics. I did fake teeth and eye lenses. Fake yeah. teeth are crazy. I, fake teeth and Bundy. You never did pro any prosthetics. No prosthetics. That's just my fat face. Really? Yes. I, and uh, and uh, uh, I, Eileen had this facial expression with her mouth. Her tension was always in her mouth and in her eyes. Um, and like you, I just watched a lot of documentaries and tried to, you know, I, I agree with him. It's a fine line where you don't want to just look like you're doing a skit. Yeah. You, you want to understand the person from the inside out, and sometimes that informs you in how they tell their story behaviorally. Um, but you don't want to just have it be that. You want it to be a little bit more. <laughs>